So I wanted to talk about something today, and that is, <laughs> I took a shower today. And now I know that's like, well, I hope you did. Trust me, I hope I did too. But that's an area that is not nearly as talked about when it comes to depression. It's an area that people really aren't exposed to. And, you know, there's this whole idea that depression's like, oh, you're sad all the time. And, you know, things make you sad. It's hard for you to be happy. It's hard for you to enjoy things. And yes, that is very true. That is very true. But there's a whole scope of different side effects, different aspects of the condition. And one of those biggest things is that it's hard to find energy to do things like that. You know, as somebody with depression, as people with depression, we have to we have to be proud of ourselves for doing things as simple as loading the dishwasher or folding a basket of laundry or just making our bed in the morning. You know, those are big deals. And it may not seem like it at first, but it's because people don't realize how much energy and how much attention it really does take somebody to accomplish something like that. And so those are like little mini victories that we get to experience throughout the day. And sometimes they're not, they're not as victorious and that's okay. That's okay, that's a part of it. But I took a shower today and I did not think I was going to. Be and especially with quarantine, being inside all the time, for me, I'm such a busy body. I'm usually at rehearsal or running errands or at school or hanging out with friends. Like I am not home very often. And that's because I like to keep myself busy. I like to be out and about. I like to be doing things. I like to be accomplishing things. And a lot of that stems from, personally, it stems from not being able to be left alone with myself for too long, if that makes sense. Because if I sit by myself or I just, I lay in my room for a certain amount of time, then it gets really, really lethargic and it gets really unproductive. And those feelings are not good feelings to have, especially because then they domino into other feelings of like, I'm not getting anything done. I should be doing more, things like that. And that's something that I've been combating a lot ever since quarantine started. It's something that has been difficult and especially we're home more often. Well, all the time. So there are 10 times as many dishes to do, so much more laundry to fold because we're here all the time. And it can easily get overwhelming very quickly. And that's something I'm gonna talk about in a few upcoming videos, you know, what that's been like. Handling mental illness through, through a global crisis and kind of the effects on that in and of itself. But <laughs> I took a shower today and that seems like one of the most basic tasks that somebody could take. But someone like me has to be proud of myself for that. And there are so many other people who experience the same thing, friends of mine even. And so I'm really glad to be able to share that with you and talk about it. Because, you know, I say this all the time, this mental health is something we're never going to be able to talk about enough. And when it comes to certain aspects like that, that might be a little more taboo or more shied away from, I think that it's really important to bring those to light because a, that's something that a lot of people just don't know about, and B, it's something that is so, so real, and if it goes unacknowledged, then it goes almost forgotten, and I, I think that that should be steered clear from as much as possible, so. Yeah, that's, um, that's today's little video diary. I will be back on here soon, and we'll see what else is going on. I'll talk soon.